Hey guys, we're on a fantastic week, it's Ethan Bill here. Now in this video, what I'm going to do is break down a really quick and cool market research strategy where you'll be able to get loads of different ad ideas very, very quickly. It does require a little bit of experience in terms of using the information present to determine, to transform into an ad in your head. However, there's a few ways to do it where it doesn't require any experience at all and it's just kind of looking at it and transforming into an ad in your head very, very quickly. But I'm going to go through it all in this video. If you find it helpful, hit the subscribe button below. Any questions, drop them in the comment section below. Without further ado, let's get into it. This is probably one of the best quick market research hacks you can do just to get some quick ideas. So first, come on to Google and load up TikTok. Now, I don't have an account, and you've got to be very careful with this because if you're very, very disciplined, what may happen is you may go in here to find an idea, and then two hours later, realize you've been scrolling for the past, you know, like two hours. So, so I suggest is don't create an account. Just go in it, go into the search, and you want to think, okay, what would your consumer think what would you know what niche team so let's say just for easy example we'll do dog supplements okay so you do your market research you realize okay dog supplements help with dog's health like like a joint support type thing so you go, okay now why would a dog want to use joint support okay maybe they've got like sore knees maybe they've got sore joints maybe they've got stiff legs maybe like the limping or something like that so let, let's go with limping so let's just type in um my help my dog is limping uh, no, so my dog is limping. We'll try that instead. Okay, now loads of ideas going to come up. You can look at videos, top whatever. Uh, usually, I look for kind of the most popular one, which is this one here. However, you can look at ones where they actually have a vet, so you know the information is proper, you know, solid. But let's look at this one right here, and then. You want to go to the comments section. So you can see here, 176 different comments. So a quick read through them. So you can go here, okay. So someone here says, for the same problem, they, you know, use hot baths and a massage gun. So you can have your ad calling out alternate solutions and showing why your solution is the best. That's one ad idea there. Literally, something like, yeah, do, you know, do you, we can have a split, us versus them, hot baths and massage gun, and then you can have your product on the other side. Or, made even simpler, just create a UGC ad saying, you know, my, I just noticed my dog started limping. I started doing the, you know, the usual, the hot baths, the massage gun, etc. However, I ha this, I found one thing on the internet that works so much better and was a lot more cost effective. The best part, it also reduced my vet bills. The product is X, you know, only one scoop a day to the dogs and whatever, that type of thing. So we've got an ad straight away idea there. We've been, this has been running like two minutes. So we have one ad idea there people seeing cbd you can do very similar concept with there you can do like you know cbd versus your product and you can keep going down you look for stories like here some of the stories are very very specific here my dog has arthritis in right shoulder he's 10 years old so you could create an ad talking about how older dogs are more at risk for arthritis and how your dog supplement can help them solve that that's two ideas right there because the main desire that works here is very very simple it's just you want to, you know, owners don't want to see their dogs in pain. So that's the, one of the most effective desires for, you know, um, dog supplements. Green lip muscles are the best. Okay, you can do like comparing your product to them. You know, have you just fostered, fostered a dog with arthritis? You can do it there. You know, it's very, very simple. And um, just to show you how effective it is, let's just think of another niche. And um, let's just think, okay, let's do fashion and let's go men's fashion tips, example. See what comes up. Cool. 2.5, 324, 1.1. Um, <clears throat> this guy's appearing twice, so we'll go with this guy. Pause the video, and then, you know, you can either watch the video, have a quick look what he's saying, or just go straight to the comments. So where's the hoodie you're wearing? And uh, keep going down. Where do you buy your jeans? So you could go, okay, well, people are really liking these jeans. Let's find out where this guy's getting them from. Let's look, let's look at the brand. Let's look at their face, kind of see what they're running. Do the same thing with the hoodie. Okay, people are obsessed with the jewelry. They're all asking where it's from. So you can see here, people are saying, okay, no money, it's not an option. Vega is saying that will look good. You have to have a lot of money. So you can create another round that belief being false. So say something along the lines of, you know, UGC, oh, I used to think that you used to have a lot of money to look good, or that's going to be UGC ad, going to the story there, or you can create an image ad, and you can very, very simple. And you can just say, and do you want to look good? You want to look expensive by paying 
cheap, something like that. So you can see straight away that's not idea there. We go down here. Okay, people actually like baggy clothes. So that's an interesting one. Okay, so we have a few ideas there. And let's think of another one. Um men's jewelry. Jewelry is a popular pardon me. Jewelry is a popular one. So let's look at this one. We've got the most views. Straight to the comment section. 129. There were some great brand slash shops to start. So people want jewelry. It's a good idea here. Good idea. People want jewelry, but they don't know where to go. So you can literally do that thing where you have this on the screen with like, you know, UDC video. There were some great brands that you can go, good put. Who's the right guy Z? They do this, this. The best part about this is that. So there you go. Is it okay to just wear one ring? You need to like a bit of experience to spot certain things. But looking at the comments here, like I've run a lot of ads, I can think, okay, this is a good idea. This is a good idea. And what I'd do is I'd write down loads of ideas together and then basically pick the top three and then use them. There you go. Do you want cheap jewelry? It looks expensive. That's an idea. Here we go. Afraid of wearing ring because I ripped my fingers off since I was wearing one. Here we go. This is a good guy, but I've started to not care about much jewelry I have on. And I get confidence wearing six rings at once too. Boom. This could be an ad the fact that people you know, like compliments, especially men, they don't get comments often. So you can create an ad about getting compliments from girls by wearing this for jewelry, that type of thing. Well, guys, that's a very, very quick market research technique that we use. That requires no additional software, nothing at all. It's very, very easy and very slick to do. One thing I strongly recommend, though, is that you have your laptop, you do it on your PC, and you have everything on mute, so you don't end up getting tempted to go and scroll through the view page or whatever, because you'll find yourself there for hours. I personally, you know, I don't even have an account on it, because I don't want to be cons consumed with that content, so it's a lot easier to go in, find the ideas, and disappear. But if you find this video helpful, feel free to subscribe button below. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below. And if you want me to run your ads, look in the description, where it says, Have Ethan Bailey with my ads. Click the link there, schedule a very, very quick 50 minute chat with me, and we'll assess if you are a good fit to work with us. And that is everything. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.